okay so we have seen how to perform the addition and also we have seen some uh, how to add with the carry okay okay so this is to like to be in a, a small examination or small test okay to tell you how to perform how to uh, uh, make more um, addition and as well as how to perform in your uh, uh, contest exams also like that okay so the first question i'm going to be right arrange arrange the number okay numbers on the i'm going to rub all those things okay this is to be uh, you have to be memorized what is the number what is will be the answer when the both number are same okay so you should be get, always you should be get remember i will don't write daily on the fish okay from the you have to be very clear with the question okay from the greatest greatest to the smallest okay so this is a question not the full question i will going to write it some more the question is there Eight plus nine, twenty plus two, twelve plus seventeen. And thirteen plus five. Okay, so there are four fish with the addition. Okay, so and also they have given the name for each and every fish. Yes, they have given the name. The first fish name is P, Q, R, S. And they have given the options also. First A option P comma S comma R comma Q. And the answer, sorry, and the option B is yes comma R comma Q comma P. And the option C Q comma yes comma R comma P. And then option last option D. R comma Q comma S comma P. So this is what a question, children. So you should be very clear about a one thing. You have to be read the question very carefully. Okay, let's be read the question carefully. Okay, see this is an a question. Okay, arrange the numbers. Arrange the numbers. What does mean by the arrange? We have to be a uh, Order, order the numbers uh, on the any certain order. We have going to be arrange the numbers on the fish. So we are going to arrange the numbers on the fish from the greatest to the smallest. That is, see here that every fish contain a numbers, isn't it? It's eight plus nine, twenty plus two, twelve plus seventeen, thirteen plus five. So the every fish contains a numbers. How many fishes are there? Four fishes are there. So, what are the fishes? P fish, Q fish, R fish, and S fish. This is the name of the fish. So, what they are telling to arrange the, in the greatest to smallest. We have already seen in a descending order. What is meant by descending? Biggest to smallest. The greatest means nothing but it is a 
big number okay big to small okay so big to small we are going to reorder so to reorder the number now we are going to perform the addition why we are going to perform the addition because once we do the addition only we get to know which fish have a great or big number okay let's we do see here 8 plus 9 8 plus 8 what is the answer for 8 plus 8 so this is the question 8 plus 9 is the question so we already know 8 plus 8 is 16 isn't it if a one number is added then the answer will be the 17 okay children so this is a, a simple method to perform the addition this is the reason why we why i am always saying you have to be recall memorize the set of numbers okay so 17 next 20 plus 2 what is the answer 20 plus 2 so if any number that added with the 0 the number will be the answer 22 so 22 next next what is the question 12 plus 17 now perform the addition 9 and 2 29 next 13 plus 5 6 7 8 18 so now we got the numbers for numbers so what is the question they say greatest to two smallest that is a big to small so what is the uh, biggest number which is given here yes the biggest number is see your biggest number is what is the biggest number r so r is the first how to reorder the fish now how we are going to reorder the fish r is the First, this is an answer. Don't get confused. Okay. R. So, next to R, which is the biggest number? Q is the biggest number. Next to Q, which is the biggest number? S is the biggest number. Next to S, which is the biggest number? P. So, this is the rearranging. R, Q, S, P. This is the greatest to smallest. Let's we check which is the correct answer. Option d is the correct answer okay children now you got it how to perform the addition as well as with the addition what is the next question they have given how to perform the descending order also big to small okay hope you all enjoyed let's we see the second question okay so the second question is like to be uh, like on a same with the help of addition we are going to perform it second question I'm going to draw some abacus and we are going to perform some addition. Okay, so let's see that. So this is the way to perform, draw the abacus, isn't it? These are the beads. These are the beads. Okay, so this is a question and also they have given the options also. Let's check that options. Option A. What they are selling 73 plus 12 is equal to 85. Option B, they told 74 plus 11 is equal to 85. And option C, 71 plus 13 is equal to 84. Option D, 70 plus 8 is equal to 78. Okay, so this is our time to make a calculation. Okay, children. Okay. So, what is the question that you have understood? Tell me, what is the question that you have understood? Yes, they given a two set of abacus. If you added the two set of abacus, then we are going to put the beads according to that on a third abacus. That, that is the question. Okay. So, okay. so, this is a ones number and this is a tens number. So, first we have to uh, count how many beads on the ones column and how many beads on the tens column okay so how many beads one two and three so three one two three four five six seven so here one and here's a two so so which is the correct option will be 73 plus 12 they have given the correct options on a a so we have to be, uh, now we have to perform the addition 73 plus 12. Isn't it? What is the 3 plus 2? 
5 and 7 plus 1 is 8. So this is a 1s and this is a 10s. Isn't it? So we also got the 85 an answer. 85 as an answer. So now how are you going to uh, put the beats according to the answer? Yes, the 1s column, how many uh, numbers are there? 5 numbers. So 5 beats. In a 10s column, how many numbers are there? 8. So it's a 8 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So see here. 8 and a 5. Okay. That you all enjoy this question. Okay. So what is the question I have given? Two set of abacus given. And what is the uh, calculation I have going to be performed? We are going to perform addition. So if you add. If what are how many numbers in a 1's column? 3. And how many numbers are on 10's column? 7. Isn't it? Okay, so in this abacus, uh, in a ones column, two, and how many numbers in a tens column? One. If you both add it, we are going to get the eighty-five an answer. Eighty-five as an answer. In a eighty-five, ones column, five beats, and tens column, eight beats. So then, what will be the answer option? A is the correct answer. Okay. Okay. Next question, third one. Read the question carefully, children. If Shakshi add a number. 248 she will get 48 what number she is adding okay see the question if shakshi add a number to 48 that is for example you have you having a number 48 okay you have a adding a sorry you have a number 48 if any number that number which you have what is the number you have 14 so the for if any number that is going to be add with 48 the answer will get 48 what is that answer if the any number that are going to be added with what zero yes definitely so that that is a yes that is a brilliant move if any number that added with a zero then what will be the answer the same number will be the answer see it's a 48 okay children okay Next, what then what will be the uh, option? Option C is the correct answer. Okay, so next the fourth question. Which of the following options will complete the given number bond? So this is the number bond. So what is the answer they have given? 23. And what is the question they are asking? Which two number? What the number is? What two number is going to be added? Then what the answer will be when? when if what the number uh, uh, that? Uh, um, sorry. If you want to answer 23, then what's the two number you are going to be get added here? Okay. So let's check ones and tens. They're given a ones and tens, and something you have to be clear. Uh, clearly have to see. See here it's a tens and tens. Okay. So you have to be very clear. Two tens means 20. Okay. So you have, should be very clear. Okay. 20 ones and three tens. Then what will be the answer? Hmm. Simple. So that is an answer. 20 ones and three tens. Did you see here? Ones and tens. So 20 ones and three ones. This is a correct answer this is the correct answer no because so this is, see here what is that in a tens ones place 20 ones are there 20 ones are there so what here ones place how many three ones are three only ones is here so this is a wrong option let's check with an another option <coughs> <coughs> okay now let's check with the other option option b two tens see here two tens correct Three tens was given. So three tens here? No, this is a wrong answer. Let's check the next one. Two tens. Yes, two tens is the correct. Three ones. Yes, let's hold it the option. Let's check in another one. Three tens. The three tens? No. So this is a wrong answer. Which option is correct? Two tens and three ones. We added, we get the number bonds 23. Okay, children. Hope you all understand it. Okay. So, one, one, once again, I am going to tell the both questions. Please listen carefully. 
if shakshi add a number to 48 so not only 48 any number that going to be we want the same number as the answer what we have to do <coughs> the number should be added with the zero if any number that added with the zero the answer will be the same this is the first question next one which of the following options will complete the given number bonds see here so you have to get the position 0 1 3, uh, zero, sorry 1's 3's sorry 1 in 1's column 3 number 10's column 2 number so which answer will be the correct 2 10's and a 3 1's will be the correct answer okay children so what is the uh, what are the um, heading we have seen on a today's class yes we have seen the addition on a today's heading okay so we already seen a horizontal addition vertical addition and additions with carry so according to those topic we have seen the three questions uh, questions also okay so hope you all enjoy it we'll see you on another class Pebbles CBSC Board Syllabus